Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to increase your internet speed on Windows 10 PC. And the first thing you wanna do every time you're trying to change your internet is you wanna test it beforehand. So we are using speedtest.net. My opinion is the best one. As you guys can see, we had 33 ping, around 14 download speed and around seven upload speed. So the first thing you wanna do guys is head down to this Windows icon at the bottom head on over to control panel. And from here, we're gonna be going to view network status. And right here, guys, you wanna head on over to change adapter settings. And then you just wanna click on your Wi-Fi, right click and click on properties. And from here, you wanna go over to internet protocol version four, and you wanna ensure that that is checked. And from here, simply click on properties. And this is where we're gonna actually be using a custom DNS server. In this video, we're gonna be using the Google DNS server, which is 8888. Four eights, and then you just want to do in the second one for the alternate DNS server 8844. Now, there are a bunch of different ones you can easily find in Google search. For example, I just pulled up Cloudflare here. Next up, I want you guys to head over to Google and type in Wi Fi Analyzer PC, and this will lead you to the Microsoft Store. And here we have a free app which will actually analyze your Wi Fi and will tell you what the best channels are for your Wi Fi settings. So, all you guys got to do is download this for free. I've personally already downloaded it, so we're going to head on back over and open this application and from here guys you just want to head on up and click on the analyze button in the top left corner and this is going to show you the best channel for your internet depending on what you're using i'm personally using the five gigahertz right now which is better you get a faster speed but it's not that great for distance and as you guys can see you want to pick the channel that has 10 stars for you personally i'm already using it and if you're using the 2.4 hertz which uh, has a longer distance but not as fast speed as the other one as you guys can see, the one seems to also be like a really good one as well. And if you're not sure which type you're using on the modem, you can just head on back here to the connected and you guys can see right now I am using the five. So I wanna be purposely changing the five. And these are the three main numbers you can use to actually head on over to your Wi-Fi settings. And this will be a little bit different for everyone. So make sure to try out all three of those numbers until you get over to your Wi-Fi settings panel. And right here, you guys, you can see I'm using the Wi-Fi five gigahertz and the 2.4 gigahertz right now. But since I have mine set up that I'm using the five, we're gonna actually be changing the channel on this one. So you wanna head on over to general. And for the channel, I have it on auto. We're actually already using 36, which was the best one, but I'm gonna make sure to change it just to that. So it stays like that. So it doesn't end up changing on its own. We don't want it to be on auto. And after that guys, we're almost done. The last thing we're gonna be doing here is going to the windows update settings. And you wanna make sure all these are turned off. The worst thing that happens is when you're just browsing or you're playing a game and then Windows pops up saying it needs to update and wants to shut down your computer, it's the worst. And it also slows down your internet and that is the last step. Next, you just wanna head on back to speedtest.net. I hope you wrote those numbers down. I have mine on the screen right here. And as you guys can see, we're getting much better ping, a better download speed and an upload speed. And here's just a little comparison table for you guys. So I hope this video helped you increase your internet speed. If it did, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Other than that guys, I'd like to thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.